Welcome to the channel. Personality and Attitude. If you like the video, do not hesitate to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Ariel Sharon, February 26, 1928 to January 11, 2014. Hebrew. Prime Minister of Israel, and the 30th Israeli government. He was born in the village of Kfa Malal in Palestine during the British Mandate, currently Central Israel. His original family name was Shineman, and his parents were Ashkenazi Jews who immigrated from Eastern Europe. His father was born in Poland, while his mother was born in Russia. Sharon is considered one of the veteran politicians and military personnel on the Israeli scene. The 11th Prime Minister of the Israeli government. He is a controversial figure inside and outside Israel. While some see him as a national hero, others see him as a stumbling block in the peace process. Some even describe him as a war criminal. Given his military role in the Israeli invasion of southern Lebanon in 1982. In 1983, he was forced to resign from the position of Minister of Defense after the Special Israeli Judicial Committee to investigate the Sabra and Shatila massacre decided that he had not done enough to prevent the massacre. In 2001, he won an overwhelming majority in the Israeli general elections, as he adopted more moderate political positions. In 2004, Sharon initiated a unilateral Israeli disengagement plan from the Gaza Strip. In January 2006, he entered a permanent vegetative state for more than eight years, after a stroke. He died on January 11, 2014 at the age of 86. His study, Samuel, directed his son, Ariel, to study agriculture, and he actually worked on the Moshav farms. But after a while he preferred to study history and law instead of agriculture, so he joined the Hebrew University in Jerusalem, and studied history and Eastern sciences in 1953 AD. Then he studied law at Tel Aviv University, 1958 AD to 1962 AD, and during his studies he mastered Hebrew, English, and Russian. Sharon joined the ranks of the Haganah organization or gangs in 1942, and he was 14 years old at the time. He moved to work in the Israeli army after the establishment of the State of Israel. He participated in the Battle of Jerusalem against the Jordanian army and was captured by the Jordanian Arab army in the battles of Latrun in 1948. He was captured on that day by Captain Habas al-Majali, later Field Marshal, who treated him and transferred him to the back lines, then to Mafrak in Jordan, where the concentration camp for Jewish prisoners was set up, and he was transferred. An Arab prisoner when the prisoners were exchanged after the second truce. After a break from the army, which he spent at the Hebrew University, the Israeli army asked him again to join the army and head unit 101, which has special missions. Unit 101 did well in restoring the prestige of the State of Israel after the unit engaged in extremely dangerous missions. However, Sharon's military unit sparked controversy after the Kibya massacre in the fall of 1953, in which 170 Jordanian civilians were killed. He carried out a hideous massacre in Lod in 1948, during which he claimed the lives of 426 Palestinians after arresting them inside mosques. Sharon was accused of responsibility for many crimes, including Kibya Massacre 1953 AD killing and torturing Egyptian prisoners in 1967, invasion of Beirut, Sabra and Shatila massacre. He provoked the feelings of Muslims by storming the Blessed Al-Aqsa Mosque in 2000 AD, and the outbreak of the Al-Aqsa Intifada, Janine massacre 2002 AD.
protective fence process. Many assassinations were carried out against members of the Palestinian resistance, most notably the assassination of Sheikh Ahmed Yassin. Doctors classify him as suffering from a permanent vegetative state, which is a well-known medical condition that differs from coma in that he can have wakefulness, sleep, sensation, feelings, expression, opening of the eyes, incomprehensible speech, or screaming. On Wednesday, January 4, 2006, he suffered a stroke caused by a severe cerebral hemorrhage that caused him to lose consciousness. Sharon was admitted to Hadassah Ein Kerem Hospital in Jerusalem, where he underwent a first operation that lasted six hours. Although his health condition stabilized as a result of the operation, Sharon did not regain consciousness. Since then, doctors have had to return him to the operating room several times after they discovered other areas of the brain suffering from bleeding and other medical problems that characterize the state of unconsciousness. On May 28, 2006, he was transferred to Sheba Hospital in Ramat Gan, next to Tel Aviv. In a press interview with Gali Sahel Radio on September 17, 2008, the doctor responsible for him said that he was in a state of minimum consciousness, where he feels pain and responds primarily to hearing the voice of his relatives. However, he is still in serious condition and there has been no significant improvement in his health since he was transferred to the hospital. On November 12, 2010, Ariel Sharon was transferred to his home on a sycamore farm for 48 hours as the beginning of a series of visits to return him to his home. The ultimate plan is to bring him home permanently with proper facilities and medical care. From his sayings, we must all move, we must run, we must seize more hills, we must expand the area of land on which we live. Everything in our hands is ours, and what is not in our hands becomes theirs. Ariel Sharon, in a speech on Israeli radio. November 5, 1998 His death Sharon died at 2 p.m. Israel time on Saturday, January 11, 2014 at Sheba Tal Hashoma Hospital. Israeli television announced the death of former Prime Minister Ariel Sharon at the age of 85, after a coma that lasted eight years. An official statement indicated that Sharon's kidney failure was the reason for the deterioration of his health, and that doctors had addressed his two sons days before his death about the necessity of removing the respirators that had kept him alive throughout the coma.